I had my anatomy scan last week, found some things that weren't great. All her measurements were really small. Weight gain, okay. We're just gonna get into all this real quick. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am 20 weeks pregnant today, 20 weeks in a day, which I remember when I was building out my vlog calendar for this entire pregnancy, I was like, man, 20 week check-in, that, that like feels so far away. And now, like, what the heck, we're already here, so welcome. Okay, we have so much to talk about. I had my anatomy scan last week, found some things that weren't great, went back today to check on those things less great. So we're gonna talk about that. I've done my very best through all these videos this whole time to be really honest with you guys and try to be helpful to anyone who might be going through something similar or found these videos because they're pregnant with twins, they're just pregnant. And so I'm going to try to just be really open about that today, but we're gonna get into like some actual like medical body stuff that's going on. Okay, so we're just gonna dive into these questions. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna be all over the place because I have so much to say that we just have to stay focused here. <laughs> what week? I am in week 20, which is more than halfway for a twin pregnancy. Weight gain. Okay, we're just gonna get into all this real quick. Oh, I look so cozy. I am so cozy. Finally, I am up nine pounds. Not from where I started, but from like where I hit my lowest. So from where I started, it's up like four, but my doctor and I were counting it as nine pounds. But here's the problemo. They want me to, by week 28, have gained 20 pounds. Total, they want me to gain about 40 pounds, they said, based on where I started and because it's a twin pregnancy. So uh, I need to gain 11 pounds in the next eight weeks, which like sounds like people have been like, oh my gosh, how fun, just eat, eat, eat. Well, that's not fun. That's actually kind of hard to do. It's just, it's just hard to gain 11 pounds in eight weeks. I know some of that, like by now, I've already gained over a pound of just blood in my body from babies. So I'm gaining weight in other ways, not just literally like my body, but um, they want me to be eating at least an extra 600 calories a day. So of healthy proteins and fats. So like obviously I can go to McDonald's or go get pizza every day and put on weight, but that's not the point. It's supposed to be healthy, but you can't eat 600 calories of baby carrots in a day either. I drink like the Orgain protein shakes, the organic shakes, and got a bag of avocados from Costco and just generally trying to take bigger portions of food at night, like an extra serving of pasta or something with our dinner. So I'm trying to eat more. I feel like I'm eating a lot. It's also accompanied by the fact that like babies are growing. They're the size of bananas in there. I have over a pound of baby in my stomach at this point. We'll get into their sizes because that's another issue. They're filling up. My stomach has a little less space. So I feel like I'm full. We went out to go get Mexican food and normally I can like put it down. And I got halfway through. I'm like, I am so full. So all that to say, weight gain, we're working on it. If I'm only nine pounds in, they want me to gain like 35 to 40 got a ways to go. Okay, maternity clothes. I really, at this point, can't with my normal jeans. That's why this sweatsuit, literally yesterday we were out running errands and we are at the mall and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I can't wear my jeans. I was just wearing my normal jeans, like unbuttoned, but I couldn't do it. So I bought the sweatsuit and wore this around instead. But so far, I don't actually wear any maternity clothes consistently. I did order a pair of jeans. Cause it's winter and it's Seattle. Like I'm not wearing dresses and shorts and flowy stuff. I have to have like an actual pair of jeans. Okay, stretch marks. Nope, I'm using bio oil. And I also got the um, Summer Fridays Baby Moon buttery goodness, I love it. And then I also have some of the Honest um, Mama products like the oil and lotion that I've really been loving as well. Okay, sleeping. I mean, it's definitely getting more uncomfy to sleep. I asked my doctor today if I need to be like concerned with my sleeping position. She said no, cause I'm still not that big. Like, sleeping on my back or side, like if it's comfortable, just do that. I can't sleep on my stomach at this point, obviously that doesn't feel comfortable. And then even on my side, like I'm like, am I squishing them? Because sometimes Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, wow, I'm like really rolled over on my stomach, but she said they're very protected in there, so no, I'm not squishing them. Okay, so kicks and movements, I definitely feel them moving around more. So little boy is lower, little girl is taller, and then he's more on the right side, and she is on the left side. But the boy, his placenta is anterior, so it's on the outside, and then hers is on the back of the uterus. So I. I don't even know if I really felt him. I feel like I've only been feeling her kick a lot, which let's just get into this, the baby. 
sizes. So I had my anatomy scan last week and a little boy uh, is measuring, he was nine ounces, which apparently is just right on track. And then she was measuring eight ounces, which I'm like, that sounds really similar. An ounce difference, great. But it turns out that at this stage, that is a big difference. And it's not just that she was weighing an ounce smaller, like all her measurements were really small. Neither of their measurements showed any sign of genetic disorder. Their heads, their nose bones, like nothing showed genetic disorder, but little petite princess. She was in the fourth percentile for size. Granted, my high risk doctor said, this is all unfair for twins because all these sizes and measurements are compared to a singleton baby. So automatically twins are gonna be smaller. And she said automatically, usually girls are measuring smaller than boys in the womb. So she's kind of got like, double whammy against her. And that is why additionally they want me to be making sure I'm eating 600 extra calories a day, really trying to pump in those proteins to get little Missy to grow. I go in in two weeks to do an updated anatomy scan to measure them. Everything else is fine. Her heart, like all the chambers of her heart, her brain, those anatomy scans are wild. You see like everything. You see like the blood pumping like through the umbilical cord. It was so crazy. And thankfully Alec got to go with me for once to an appointment. So that was really cool for him to be at. It took three hours though, holy cow. And then because it's, um. Twins are automatically a ghost. Automatically um, seeing a high risk doctor for that and she's been really awesome. And because of some of the complications that have risen up, I've been going back to her, which there's one more thing going on that I'm going to talk about in just a sec. Food cravings. No, mama's just trying to eat a lot. So whatever sounds good, I'm just eating it. Which is just, I thought my pregnancy would be so different. I thought I'd just be like the epitome of health you know, while appropriately gaining weight for the babies. But I just thought I'd be like greens and all this stuff. I'm like, do we have a box of mac and cheese? I need to like <laughs> have an extra snack or something. Um, still nothing is making me queasy or sick this whole time. As far as symptoms, just the breakouts have subsided a bit. I still have them kind of like on like my back, which is just so fun. Um, but honestly, my symptoms have been so mild, so. I'm good. Okay, so one of the questions I have to go over if it's pertinent is labor signs. So that's where I'm gonna kind of talk about this issue that's going on with me. And this is what I was referring to in the beginning of just being honest. This feels like personal to me, but I wanna share this with anyone who might be dealing with something similar. So when I went in for my anatomy scan, they measure all sorts of things. I mean, if you have been pregnant, you know they measure all things baby, all things mom, all things placenta, and then they measure like your mom, like the mom's cervix, um, which is what stays, that's what dilates, like when you are going into labor, and it like thins and dilates, and then it'll like open your water breaks and you have a baby. So until you go into labor, you, it should stay closed and it should be about three and a half to four centimeters. That's a normal cervix. So mine measured small, like two, 0.2 centimeters and um, they were concerned with that and they wanted to have me come back one week later to see if it was just short and that's just how it is or if it was actually a problem because so it was also open a little bit at the top instead of being totally shut kind of like a little tiny funnel so I went back today and funnel has gotten bigger and cervix has gotten shorter only by 0.1 centimeters, but still it like shouldn't. And the widening at the top is what's sort of concerning. So it's called like incompetent cervix and they're gonna have me taking progesterone to um, try to slow that. Apparently it slows the cervix. The whole overarching thing with this is like the twins kind of throws a monkey wrench in this because basically when you get pregnant, your body thinks it's one baby. And while you know, it grew two placentas and it's growing two babies, your like body thinks of it as one baby and so because like I'm like producing more blood in my body and like I'm growing bigger earlier because it's twins my body might be thinking that I'm further along than I actually am in my pregnancy it still shouldn't be like opening but it might just that could be part of it just that it's twins and it's confusing my body there just isn't a ton out there that shows how this can be helped and delayed 
with twins. Every week I'll go in to be monitored. Like, if you look it up online, there's just such a wide range of like, people at like 22 weeks get, you know, put in the hospital on bed rest. And then some people start the progesterone and they're just careful and they make it to like 37 weeks with their twins. So it's hard to tell if it really gets worse and worse and worse and it's like, this isn't helping. There is some procedure called a cerclage where it's basically you go under the surgery and they do like a stitch around your cervix to close it up. So so hopefully we don't have to get to that point. But I do have to lay low. She said, not bed rest, but she said, just think couch potato. Do not like work out. Don't do any activity. Like, lay, like do maybe like a lap around the neighborhood if it's chill. That combined with my need to increase my eating and everything has just really changed what I thought my pregnancy would look like. Obviously, I like do not care. I will do whatever I have to do to um, keep these babies safe. So we're just praying a lot that this is not going to be an issue and that the medicine will do its trick. That's just me being open and honest with you guys. Okay, and then the last question that I have come to really enjoy is what are you looking forward to? Today's is like actually a little deeper. Something I've been telling Alec a lot lately is I'm really looking forward to that feeling that I'm allegedly going to have when I am holding the babies, you know, in the hospital for the first time or probably long after that too, where you just feel like that overwhelming sense of love. I mean, I love my husband so much and like I feel those love feelings, but everyone says like, no, it's a totally different type of love. Like I'm really excited to feel those feelings of like, oh my gosh, this is like my baby. <laughs> These are my babies and feel what that feeling feels like. Okay, let me show you my bump. I feel like my bump, okay, it's probably the pants too, but I feel like it looks kind of like pointy. Still not like large and in charge. That's that. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't a total downer of a video. It was just a week of learning a lot of what's going on, which I am so grateful for. I love modern medicine. I love my OB and my high risk OB. So I feel very grateful that they were able to catch things that were going on in me and can help work to prevent it. We're just praying everything is gonna be fine. And I really am not feeling anxious. I just wanna make sure I'm doing everything I can to protect these little babies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys. There's so many of you subscribed. It makes me so happy. Every single day I watch my numbers go up. I check it every day, it makes me so happy. So thank you so much for watching these videos. Again, hope this wasn't like a downer. I just wanted to share. What's going on? Week 20, pregnant with these little 20s. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.